recently i got a suggestion to make a video on coach's mean value theorem first of all thank you for commenting the suggestion to make video on this topic i really like those comments who suggest me to vi make video on different topics of math and if you also want to suggest me videos click this card right up here and this will lead you to a special video where you can suggest me videos now this is coach's mean value theorem and this is what you have to write in exams whenever you asked explain coach's mean value theorem so this is the statement these are the conditions and this is the theorem so i will explain everything to you simply and with every detail it states that there are two functions f and g in a and b that means a and b and a and b are included these brackets are square brackets this mean a and b are included that means there is a f a there is a g a there is a f b and there is a g b there are no indeterminate forms there now it is saying that f and g are continuous in a and b that means they are continuous they do not vanish anywhere between a and b that they don't vanish like there is no indeterminate form between them that means they don't we can't find a point between there like they don't become infinity so next thing is this f and g are derivable in a and b now here is this bracket that means that it is saying between the a and b a and b are not included that means you can find a slope of tangent anywhere of those two functions between a and b now last condition is this that g dash x is zero for any x in a and b that means there is a x by with which the function g becomes zero anywhere between a and b that means like this this is g and the slope of tangent is zero between a and b if these are true then there is at least one c that means there is a constant there is a value this x which is c between a and v such that f b minus f a upon g b minus g a is equal to f dash c upon g dash c that means the ratio of this is equal to the ratio of this this is the coach's mean value theorem and this is the statement for the proof of coach's mean value theorem click this card right up here it will read you to the proof of coach's mean value theorem but if you are asked that explain coach's mean value theorem this is you have to write and and also you understood every single thing in here what are these types of brackets and don't forget to add this bracket in here and these brackets in here these are important if you miss this one like you wrote this in here then you will get a zero and here is also this curly brackets and this is the coach's mean value theorem so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything